Okay, so today we're going to uh, replace the uh, the bearings on this utility trailer. Um, there's a video on my uh, on my channel about the uh, the rehab and the restoration I did on the trailer. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at that, and uh, I'll post a video uh, to the uh, to the video on that. So um, these are your standard. Uh, four on four um, wheel hubs. It's a one inch axle, and see if we can get this on on uh, on the recording. How bad these are. All right. So hopefully you guys heard that. Um, th these bearings are pretty bad. So. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through the uh, the process of uh, removing the the wheel, the hub, and then or taking the races out and putting in the new bearings and packing them and everything else. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is you're gonna remove the uh, the the, the uh, wheel from the hub, just using uh, traditional methods and uh, take the wheel off. Okay, so now that you have the wheel off, the the, uh, the next step as far as taking the uh, the hub off is um, there's a nut that holds this entire hub assembly onto the uh, to the axle. You want to take this dust cover off and once you take the dust cover off using a set of channel locks or, or pliers or something to that effect the cover will come right off and then you'll see the nut. Okay, the, once the uh, the cover is right comes off you're going to see the, uh, the castellated nut and the, the nut is held in there by a cotter pin. What you can do is you're gonna take the cotter pin out. It may be bent so on this side, so what you can do is you're just gonna straighten it out and grab it with a set of uh, needle nose pliers right from here. And what you can do is you're just gonna pull it right out. Okay, now that you have the nut, the, uh, the cotter pin out, this castle nut, um, honestly, you should be able to spin it off by hand because when you put the nut on, what you're doing is you just lightly seating it against the uh, the bearing. You're not over tightening it. And what you want to do is find the uh, you know you're gonna seat it, and then the uh, find the uh, the hole in the axle for the cotter pin, and then just uh, tighten it every so ever so slightly. You're not trying to tighten it down where you're trying to um, um, torque it down to that to that much. All you're doing is essentially you're you're, you're uh, you're uh, stopping the uh, the end play on the uh, the the uh, the the, uh, the bearing and the hub assembly on the shaft, and that's it. So what you want to do is just take the nut off, right? And you're just gonna stick that in your parts tray, and then um, once you do that, this whole assembly is gonna slide right off. So, so there's the uh, the axle, the spindle on the axle, and again, this is a uh, one-inch axle. So, here is the hub. So what you can see here is um, actually one of the bearings fell out, but inside there's a race. The race needs to come out. And if we spin this around, what you're gonna see is a dust cover and the other taper bearing that's gonna come out. And then if we look at it, you're gonna see the race on the corresponding side as well. So let's bring this over to the bench and work on getting these races out. Okay, so now that you have the uh, the hub back on the bench, what you wanna do is you want to remove the uh, the races. Um, I already took one out, the first one out. So there is the race, right? So it's again, it's a top, it's a conical taper. So one side is shaped like a cone, and then the other side looks just look like it looks like a traditional bearing. It's it's a square shoulder. So um, the best way to get these out is you're gonna want to take something like this and take a long drift and a uh, little three pound sledge. And what you're going to do is you're just going to flip it over, right? 
actually, here, I'll put it on this side. So if you look, you're going to see the leading edge of the uh, the shoulder of the race in there. And what you can do is you're just going to hit it with the drift and just start tapping it until it comes out. So, All right, so now that you have the uh, both races, races removed, um, what you want to do is you want to start putting the new stuff in. Um, so what I picked up is I picked up, uh, I went to Tractor Supply and I picked up a bearing kit. Um, so what you need is you're going to need one kit per side and then the kit, what they do is they give you two bearings, two races, a dust cover and I believe there's a cotter pin in there as well. Um, this kit was 20 bucks uh, so it's essentially 40 bucks per side. Um, sorry, 40 bucks for the axle. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to uh, um, put the race in, clean the, the, the hub bearing surface up nice and good, get out any grit or you know make it nice and clean. Um, so what you want to do is you want to tap this in. Um, you're supposed to use a, uh, a race uh, ins installation tool. I don't have one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a block of wood to get it started and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the old race to uh, to install it. Alright, so now that you have uh, both races installed, essentially uh, the only thing really need to left to do is um, you know take a rag and clean off the bearing surfaces make it sure it's nice and neat on both sides um, I was gonna use the uh, the old race to install the the new one and what I was gonna do I was, I was just gonna take a hacksaw and uh, cut a slit in it so it would compress and use it as as a plug to uh, dry the race in um, but I figured, you know what, I, I figured I would just try tapping it in nice and lightly. And it dropped right, right in, so I didn't have any issues with it. So, um, your conditions may vary, um, but for me, that's what worked out for me. Um, as far as on this hub, just as a note, um, there's actually a left and right on it. So, when you're looking at the hub, um, this one on the wheel side actually has a uh, a machine face on it. It's a, it's a nice 90 degree on it, and you can see one side is a little bit turned down. And if you look at the other side, uh, one side has a radius on it. Obviously, the wheel doesn't go on the radius side because it would never sit flush on it. So that goes uh, on the inside of the uh, out of the trailer. Um, so just something to be aware of. Um, so essentially, what's le left is I gotta take the uh, the, uh, the bearings on it, and these bearings do not come packed with grease. So what I have to do is we're going to manually pack these with grease before we uh, put them in the uh, in the hub. So that'll be the next part. All right. So the uh, the bearings all packed with grease. Uh, so I already can show that to you because uh, again, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but essentially. You just uh, pack it with grease. You put some grease in the palm of your hand, and you just work the uh, the grease up into the little all the little roller bearings. Uh, so you do that on both sides, and then essentially get it ready. And then uh, what you want to do is in the kit, they give you a, a, a new uh, dust shield, so that goes over the axle, and then, and then there's a little shoulder that sits on. It sits on, and then you just uh, slide the the hub on the right way, and and then uh, you just go ahead. And put it on there. Insert into the uh, the dust shield, and it'll be uh, be seated. Um, clean up the axle, obviously, before you go before you put it on there. Make sure it's, there's no grit or dirt or anything on, like or uh, anything like that on it. Okay, so once you have the hub back on, you're gonna put your castellated nut back on it. And again, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna run the the nut all the way down until you feel it make uh, contact with the uh, the bearing and at that point what you want to do is find the closest uh, notch in the nut and then just drive the cotter pin in there again you're not looking that you know, this isn't like it's a uh, lug nut holding a tire on this is just again preventing uh, end play in the bearing so just you make it sit on there make it uh, nice and seated and then find the closest one and then you just drive the cotter pin in Okay, so everything's back together. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention as far as uh, setting your end float, what you're going to want to do is, and you can actually do this with the tire on, it's a little bit easier. 
Um, what you're going to want to do is check for uh, inflow on the bearing. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands at 9 and 3 o'clock. And essentially you're going to rock the, the wheel back and forth. And initially you're, you're going to probably feel a little bit of a, a little bit of, of, of wobble or uh, play in, in the bearings. So what you want to do is you want to essentially keep uh, tightening the castellated nut until the uh, the play is gone, but it's not so tight that the uh, the bearing um, is uh, binding up on it. So once you do that, once you set everything, put in the cotter pin, put on the dust cap, then retorque the uh, the lug nuts uh, back to 90 foot pounds. And essentially, once you do that, you're all set. Um, so uh, so essentially, that's it. Um, if there's any questions or comments, thoughts, concerns, go ahead and put them in the comments box, and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.